The beach is typically a place where you expect to have a relaxing, enjoyable time. Unfortunately, it's not always just sun and sand. Sometimes, danger lurks among the waves and dunes. Here are the seven most dangerous animals you might encounter at the beach. Number seven, orcas. Now let's discuss an animal that many find fascinating yet challenging to resist approaching, the orca or killer whale. Orcas are often depicted in a glamorous light, capable of forming connections with humans, as popularized by the film Free Willy and as the iconic mascot of SeaWorld. These portrayals can make it tempting to interact with them. However, it's crucial to remember that orcas are known as killer whales for a valid reason. They are apex predators, capable of hunting even great white sharks. Orcas can exhibit aggressive behaviors, including acts of pettiness, and have been known to harm humans when provoked, a reality underscored by incidents at places like SeaWorld. If you encounter a beached orca, while your initial instinct might be to help, it's much safer to call professionals who are trained to handle such situations. This approach ensures both your safety and the well-being of the whale. Number six, leopard seal. Here's one that you'll need to be on specific beaches to see up close, but if you do get to see one, don't allow it to become angry. Leopard seals are vicious creatures when the time comes and they can stalk prey underwater and on land with great ease. They're over 11 feet long, weighing almost 1,500 pounds at times. That's more than enough to screw with anyone it sees on the beach. They've also been known to lash out at humans, which includes having one recorded fatality and going after divers as well. In fact, that fatality that I just mentioned was indeed via a leopard seal going after a diver because according to them, it was scared by their presence. There's a haunting thought, something that big being scared by a diver and then lashing out. So given all of that information, if you do see one of these on the beach, just stay away from it. Number five, stingrays. Here's a marine creature you'll definitely want to avoid, the stingray. While they might not look dangerous at first glance, stingrays possess stingers that can cause serious harm if provoked. Due to their slim, flat bodies, they can easily blend into the sandy beach environment, making them hard to spot until it's too late. If you accidentally step on a stingray and it reacts defensively, you're likely to experience significant pain and regret. It's important to note that while stingray stings are typically not fatal, they can be extremely painful and potentially dangerous if the sting hits a critical area. Most encounters result in intense pain, nausea, weakness, and sometimes fainting. There's also the risk of infection following a sting. To avoid such unpleasant experiences, always be vigilant when walking on the beach and watch where you step. Remember, it's always better to steer clear of these hidden dangers in the sand. Number four, electric eel. Small warning here, you'd be very unlucky to find this at a beach. Why? Because the electric eel doesn't usually live near beaches. They typically live in the Amazon River and other river basins of South America. As a result of that, you finding one on the beach would be, well, peculiar to say the least, and you should probably go and play the lottery that night but let's say that you do happen to find one by some mysterious circumstance. Do you poke and prod at it for all of its worth? Well, of course not. Have you not been paying attention during my list? The electric eel, which is actually a hackfish, is a creature with multiple organs that can provide an electric charge that it uses to stun its prey so that it can eat them. Those charges are more than enough to hurt a human, especially if they're in the water with the eel when it strikes. Number three, Titan Triggerfish. The Titan Triggerfish, while included on this list of marine creatures to be cautious around, warrants a specific note regarding its level of danger, which is somewhat conditional. Generally, the Titan Triggerfish isn't dangerous if you observe it from a safe distance. However, its demeanor can drastically change under certain circumstances, particularly near its breeding grounds. If you happen to be near the beach or diving where these fish are found, it's crucial to respect their space, especially during the breeding season. The Titan triggerfish undergoes a significant behavioral shift when it is breeding. Normally passive, this fish becomes exceptionally territorial and aggressive towards any perceived threats to its nest. 
for divers or snorkelers who unknowingly enter these zones during breeding season, the encounters can become intense. The triggerfish will not hesitate to charge at intruders, using its body to ram them and its strong teeth to bite. These actions are not meant to kill but to defend its space and ensure the safety of its offspring. While fatalities are extremely rare, the aggression of a breeding titan triggerfish can lead to injuries and a very unpleasant underwater experience, serving as a forceful reminder to steer clear of their breeding areas. Observing this rule not only ensures your safety, but also respects the natural behavior of these fascinating marine creatures during a critical time in their life cycle. Number two, stargazers. There are many types of stargazers out there in the world today, and as a result of that, you need to be mindful of what they are, why you should stay away from them. It also does not help that these creatures aren't afraid to bury themselves in the sand, so you might not even see one of them until it's too late. Some, for example, like the electric stargazer, have a bite that has a 50 volt charge in it, that's gonna hurt. Others, well, they'll just make you bleed your own blood, which is just as bad in my opinion. Number one, puffer fish. We now turn to a creature that you should avoid touching at all costs. Whether it's found on the beach, in the ocean, or even in an aquarium, the puffer fish. This fish is one of the most lethal in the world, notorious for its association with tetrodotoxin, a potent toxin that has earned a deadly reputation. A single touch, poke, or taste can deliver enough toxin to be fatal, and it's important to note that there is no antidote. Despite appearing harmless, the pufferfish can still release its venom when threatened. Its risk level is so high that despite having edible parts, only highly skilled chefs, particularly in Japan, dare prepare and serve this fish. Japanese chefs have perfected the art of removing all the toxic parts, allowing people to safely enjoy its meat. However, the best advice when encountering a pufferfish is simple, stay clear. With this, we conclude our list of beach and marine animals to steer clear of for your safety. Which of these creatures were you surprised to learn could be dangerous if approached too closely? Have you encountered any of these animals on the beach yourself? Are there others you think should be included on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the other interesting content appearing on the screen, and I'll see you in the next video.